Across the multiverse, there are infinite worlds filled with wonder, magic, danger, and creatures beyond your wildest dreams. One of these worlds is called Draconia, a world that in the ancient tongues means forged by dragons. And if legends are to be believed, this particular world was built upon the power and might of the two most famous, or perhaps infamous dragons across the entire multiverse, Bahamut and Tiamat. Made of two primary planes coexisting as one, the world above, the material and arcana, of both positive and negative force known as Terra, and the world below, known as Umbra, home to the dead and necromantic arcana. Mirroring each other, but never overlapping, never the two coalesce. Our story begins on Draconia's largest continent, Carina, in the port city of Mare, off a peninsula of the Sylvan Empire. It is the eve of a historic event, an open call to all professional adventurers to join the ranks of the legendary Wayfinders Guild. In a temple run by monks known as the Order of the Ascendant Dragon, a young student meditates. Nick, if you could please describe your character. Uh, okay, uh, Luna is a sort of uh, lanky, androgynous, um, pale green, pinkish uh, flesh, um, water uh, Ganassi. Um, and uh, they're recently coming back to their uh, disciplines as a monk. Um, but it was, wasn't till very recently that the ascendancy sort of came to them in a vision. Um, and so they've been back at work sort of learning this new tradition and this new way of living and being with the world. And as you sit and contemplate in your chores, uh, post-chores meditation, what's going on through Luna's mind in the moment? Um, grief, uh, dealing with, with the passing of a uh, parental figure, uh, and they're just, they have this new purpose thrust upon them and it's, everything's going so fast. So they're really, they're digging deep down into their, their fundamental trainings of mindfulness and, and uh, awareness of oneself to really um, calm down their, their nerves. And how long has it been since this uh, passing? Um, 14 days, uh, three hours, and so. Uh, one of your advisors, a monk of the order, uh, by the name of Darius, um, another water ganasi, um, they, uh, mainly are in charge of groundskeeping for the most part, but for the last couple of weeks, they've been your supervisor as you have taken on the uh, groundskeeping roles as well. They're uh, about, you know, maybe a foot shorter, older, a little hunched over, maybe slouchier, maybe a little less, uh, uh, more, more stocky as it were, uh, a, a bit of a, polar opposite of sorts of your own uh, height and build, but same kind of uh, traditional tattoos swirling around their arms and uh, along their, their neck and up to their head. Full shaved head, has, its, has their hood up. Luna, have you uh, finished uh, taking care of the gardens? The garden? The well, yes, it was your... Was your assignment today? You were to 
go through the uh, the to the ponds and the the take care of the fish and uh, the the hanging gardens. Mentor Darius, I must rest. Rest can be coming in all forms and through labor of very nice flow and ease. And... Ah, Luna, you've been so distracted lately. I understand. We have all we are all suffering with the loss of our dearly departed and great mentor to all of us. But if we do not move, then we become stalwart and we do not have the luxury of being able to just be still and let entropy take over, especially without duty as amongst this plane. I suppose you're right. But the adventure, I promised, the adventure. And adventure can come in many forms, but I will advise you, be mindful. Everything that surrounds you, everything that you take in, whether it be through learning, interacting, the very food you eat, the very floors you walk upon, sandals or none, although I prefer none to keep it clean, Sorry. you must be engaged. And you've been so distant, it just, it's, it's making us worry. Luna kind of looks down at their feet, at the sandals they have on. Like, worried about sandals? I know, I know. It's, it's, it's I like the, dirt. I like the feeling of uh, the ground underneath my feet. It's more of a natural connection. It's a personal preference, and also I don't like things being treaded in, but uh, that, that's, that's just me. Are you cleaning it up? Luna, I know that there are other things on your mind. So why don't you take the rest of the day? I know that you're going to be involved in helping out with the town and in the festival that's going on. So enjoy it now. Let it be your delightful distraction. I suppose you're right. That, thank you, mentor. Flow like the water, my f my friend. Flow like the water. As, as to and also, do not forget the water buckets. You, they've been starting to build, uh, get some <sighs> mildew build up. I just right. Be mindful. Right. Yes. All right. Will do. <laughs> and as you uh, finish up your tasks and end up uh, grabbing your uh, uh, stuff for the day to pack out, uh, to pack up and pack move on as it were we move on now to the outskirts of the city arriving by caravan with uh several uh beasts of burden surrounding this large uh hay bale type um uh cart uh as a caravan is moving into the port city of mare as a group of out-of-towners are all going off of this, uh, onto this brick-lined street, and we see, um, a, uh, uh several, um, types of vendors pa getting bags and getting out of this very jammed cart, uh, one of them being incredibly tall as, uh, they take their, uh, take themselves off of the cart, uh, Jessica. If you wouldn't mind introducing your character. Bonjour, je m'appelle Arlen. Uh, I am a nearly seven and a half foot tall uh, fair bog, and uh, oui. <laughs> uh, there is uh, a bunch, uh, a couple of uh, you know, uh, humans, half elves, and uh, half orcs, just kind of like all like trying to step around you as you're lumbering off of the the cart and it eventually everyone makes their way off and uh, the cart moves forward. Uh, what do you have on you? Not much. Um, 
very came, minimalist. Yeah, came with very minimal things, basically the cloth on my back and a few waist satchels, but she, oh, and naturally, uh, yeah. No. There, there is a, uh... oh, go ahead, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 please go ahead. Oh. Uh, there is a, um, a woman, uh, a, um, human elderly woman who is at kind of like this, uh, kiosk of, of signing in vendors and assistance and help. Um, she's pointing out directions to diff- If you are here to help with, uh, the setting up of the shops, that is on the, this line over to my right. Uh, if you are assisting with uh, any uh, voluntary medical aid, that is over there on the left. Uh, she raises it... her tail. <laughs> yes. Uh, you, can I help you? Um. Yes. You said um, the medical tents. Uh, où est-ce que je peux les trouver? Oh, uh, Sylvan. And she's mm -hmm. asking if she speaks. She drops. Uh, she speaks to you in fluent Sylvan. Yes. What you're going to do is head to that line, and we appreciate your abilities of being brought forth here. Uh, who are you working on behalf of? Um, I come from nowhere. Ah, and she understands. Uh, is uh, in. Just from the the regional uh, part of your voice, as she starts to click some pieces together. Huh, uh, uh, oh, um, yes. Uh, uh, from you're from the north, I am assuming. Mm -hmm. yes. oui. Ah, okay. Um, yes. Uh, if you speak with uh, Julius, he will be uh, he's our uh, resident cleric uh, uh, residing over the area. He'll take he'll ch check you in and he'll let you know where you'll be stationed for today. Merci. Thank you so much for your event. Merci. And then she drops and uh, mm -hmm. is quickly like with her checkboard going over to different areas. And I just and imagine I can kind of see over everything. Oh, yeah. I'm not doing that like tippy top hands of like where did you there. say? <laughs> yeah, you know exactly where so to she's, go. She stands out, and I uh, will admit there is a point that her ears are sort of curious, but so they kind of flick up every once in a while, but go back down just because crowds and her hair is a little bit more over one eye over her left eye uh it is crowded so um people are kind of like you know walking around you and your eye level with things being held on people's heads yep. parts being pulled <laughs> by your eye level with a lot of large uh animals a lot of uh more beasts of burden coming through there if there's any like spice baskets i'm sniffing them like oh absolutely Ooh. and all of the odors <laughs> just this whole town's like eclectic senses are just uh, just wafting in uh full full speed and you end up heading towards more of the market district at this point where there it's even busier um and there is a uh uh another um person who is calling all clerics and just checking them then uh and it sees that um, the the woman you were speaking to pointed you over to his. And he's like, yeah, did, 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 "Come on, come on, go to, quickly, quickly, quickly! Um, here, just uh, write your information." And he gives you like a really quick like quill. And you know, thank you very much. Uh, okay, and he gives you like a small like little um, uh, 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 like kind of a. Uh, uh, soft material badge, as it were, to signify that you're a resident cleric. You're going to be uh, of, uh, helping out with uh, overseeing of the uh, trials tomorrow, so uh, um, making sure... Uh, what, uh, what, uh, the, your proficiency of the cleric, uh, you are uh, registered? Uh, you know what, I don't have time. Uh, are you able to heal people on a moment's notice? We. Oui. Good enough for me. Uh, you, we have uh, resident cots that are just kind of uh, available for lounging. It'll be on call I... as needed. Uh, there is a uh, uh, if you want a, a food or a, a, a dining that we do have. A, he pulls out like a small. Yeah, this is a voucher for later for a meal uh, if you like. Um, also, this, this is good for the night. We do not cover anything past tomorrow night. Uh, we just need to make sure that all of the expenses are covered, and of course you will, uh, uh, you know, uh, signing that, you have uh, waived any 
sort of uh, magical cursing uh, problems or any sort of uh, liability Monsieur, that we may have. Um, Sorry, once I... you get into like a zone with so many people, <laughs> it just tends to happen. I, I'm sorry, I, I tend... didn't even get your name. <laughs> Bonjour, uh, je m'appelle Arlen. Ah, uh, Sylvain, yes. I I um, don't really fit on cots. Uh, is there anywhere mm. on the ground that I can sleep? Let's see if we have any openings in the livestock excess of the area. Uh, no offense, I, I don't mean it. No, it's no, it's no, actually no. very comfortable. I'm actually... The horses hurting and the, just the, lots of... The, just, you know, I, we do get I centaur coming in every now and then. So just, yes, no. Uh, uh, yes, yes, I'll, I'll, mm -hmm. I will take. Uh, yeah, what you, you you're going to want to um, uh, speak to? Uh, no, I guess. Well, uh, uh, set yourself out uh, to have it. The fish and flask. Uh, speak with Eldon. Uh, he's the proprietor there. He he's he's good with the envoys, and uh, they'll they'll set you up with something. Uh, by all means, thank you so much for your help. Sort I am well. running. Running so thin on, on, on people, <laughs> just, just that you are a blessing. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> thank the ancients. Uh, yes. Um, no, no, if you if you wouldn't mind, just to, oui. thank you very much. D'accord. Merci. And as you are kind of brushed aside, um, there is uh, in the shipyards. We hear footsteps, uh, discreet, unassuming, but an imposing figure walks casually through the city market, quietly enjoying the sights and sounds of the vendors and uh, that he can see passing by and all of the wonderful ships that have come into this port city on this very busy day. Mark, if you would please describe your character for us. Yeah, so uh, Finn is definitely a... Uh, he's a, in reality almost a 19-year-old boy when, you, uh, when all is said and done. Uh, fairly largely built, though. Uh, completely shaved down head on both sides with a large red mohawk uh, sticking straight up into the air. Uh, his uh, He's got quite a bit of piercings, uh, both of his eyebrows. He's got a spider bite, uh, as well as uh, gauged out ears. Uh, but probably the thing that you'll notice the most about him is going to be the uh, absolutely mangled... Uh, tops of his ears completely scarred over it's really difficult to hide uh but it is something that uh that he wears uh kind of with pride uh and he's dressed head to toe uh in the very familiar to everybody uh dress and armor of the hollowed uh the black tunic with the large symbol of uh holy symbol of bahamut uh hanging around his neck and how discreet are you actually trying to be in this, if any? I'm not being discreet at all. As okay, far as, uh, so character. as you're walking by, there are, you're getting a lot of looks. Um, a lot of mixed reactions. Uh, some people are kind of just quickly moving along. Uh, there are others who are just... What is, what is this presence doing here? Is someone from the... You hear a lot of mutterings like, Oh, looks like the Westlands trying to expand. Uh... Uh, a couple of people are not so uh, discreetly bumping into you, going, excuse me. Um, and uh, then there are a lot of people who are just moving back and forth and around. I I'm absolutely unfazed by the bumping into me. In fact, I kind of give a shoulder shrug back as as you see them approach, kind of a uh, almost a jovial, but uh, not quite. There, there are some people who are kind of like put off by it, and the others who are just kind of like off and then there are kids like like there are some tall ki tiny kids that are just like running up like looking like because they've never seen someone dressed like you before uh you see um uh, the mari is a very uh water ganasi filled uh native town so a lot of young uh water ganasi looking up he's just like hey mister are you where, where are you where are you from where are you there's so many people coming in from is that your knife why is there what do you carry a sword do you know how to do magic like it's uh, like all these like different oh, kinds the, of things it, it would be quite obvious i've got a fairly large broadsword uh across my back for traveling as well as uh a <laughs> uh a hand axe on one side and a, a fairly ornate dagger on the other side there is a um, uh, a mother of the uh, water ganasi mother just coming. It's like, oh, I'm so sorry, and she's bowing in like kind of like reverence to like just really kind of like she doesn't want 
anyone to be messed with. She's like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. No apologies needed. <laughs> yes, that's a blessing of the ancients, blessing of the ancients. It's, and it just kind of moves back quickly. And you're kind of getting this vibe of it's like, welcomed, but like, out of very, just like the bare bones respect of authority that you seem to be carrying just by appearance alone. Um, you do uh, catch uh, some pretty, like, uh, jaunty music uh, playing not too far that kind of attracts you, uh, you uh, gets your ear. Um, and there is a, um, there is a group that is playing, uh, setting up, um, like, there's kind of, like, all these different musicians that have all come visiting, like, different kind of, like, buskers and panhandlers, all just kind of, like, trying to showcase their things. Uh, there's, there's one who's telling grandiose stories of, and I went up to the mountain and then back down. And there's like no applause. He's like, but it was just by myself. I just and he, it's just. Um, you hear, uh, you hear some um like something something that just feels like a little bit like more of a like a pick me up style. And as these uh, people with um, flutes and some horns start uh, like. Uh, gathering themselves in a circle and there's like a bit of a drum circle movement kind of going. The vibe is really really like kind of this chill mellow but like got a little nice kick to it. Um, and uh, yeah you, you this, this this is like kind of like your kind of scene right now. Um, and among them uh, there are a lot of people your age. Uh, there, this is, seems to be where it's like this is where the cool kids are hanging. And this, there's a lot of, like, nobody's really kind of giving you any food looks. There's some people like, cool ears, man. Uh, <laughs> and um, amongst the, you know, the hustle and bustle of the crowd, as music is filling in different areas, um, there are a lot of people just trying to make some coin. But, Finn, to you, there is a familiar face. Uh, and Victoria, if you can please describe your character. Hello, hello. So, um, Maring is a, uh, a hairy gone, herring gone, which basically means a humanoid rabbit, if you don't know. Um, she's standing at a strong 4'11". Uh, she has dark mocha fur with white splotches here and there randomly, one noticeably being on her, w on her uh, right eye. Um, she also has many piercings. Her uh, right ear has two gold hoops, and her left ear has one gold hoop right at the flop at the top. And her left ear flops because there's a giant scar coming from the tip of her cute little pink nose all the way up to that left ear to the point where it makes it flop at the top. Um, she is wearing a leather corset that buckles three times to the left side um, and a dark forest green skirt at the bottom with anyone with a higher perception will know that is a rip away skirt. Um, <laughs> there is a, a metal piece of armor on her shoulder and a big black bow detailed in green with green detailing on it and she has light amber eyes and she does have a little roof not emo, but enough that one <laughs> curl hits her left eye here and there, and it's dyed with green tips, and she has a gold septum as well. Awesome. Uh, so, Maring, as you're enjoying the, the music's coming in, um, and people are kind of, like, just mingling about, you catch the familiar face of Finn. Finn! Hey! <laughs> From, uh... <laughs> She holds her arms right wide and starts like almost hopping towards you. <laughs> I'll drop down to a knee and give you a big hug. <laughs> she like loops around your neck and then like like smacks your head a couple times. It's been a been a while since I saw you last from uh, over in the Imperium, I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean that place is booming. They've gotten the second floor too. Oh Crazy. wow! Hey, it's great to see the scene kind of growing up and uh, and growing. Well, you Especially know, in a place like that. 
You know Terratalia. We're always growing, doing stuff, doing things. Uh, you know. Drew, if <laughs> any, please. Ah, it's, uh, it's been an interesting time, uh, interesting life. I mean, uh, the job sometimes gets in the way. Right, and she takes a she takes a look. I'm pretty sure this is probably her first time looking at your formal look. Yeah, you you, um, have, you have probably never actually seen me done anywhere right. close to being in my. You probably have no idea no. that my job is this. <laughs> right, and she will is probably looking dead at the amulet <laughs> when you stand up. She goes, "Oh, oh, oh, oh." Wow, I was not. Ex- <laughs> I was not. Wow, yeah, the- I don't know whether to bow or just like walk away or something. Or no need to bow. <laughs> I, I assure you, and <laughs> you don't need to worry. I'm still. I'm still thin. Don't worry. Good. Good. Excellent. I love to hear that. Which means you're ready to mess up stuff. I mean, no, no, no. I mean, we can we can be cordial for a little bit, right? Until oh, of night course. time. Oh, of course. Okay. Cool. Uh, so, um, Maring, Finn, um, you actually recognize, uh, this group that is, um, just wrapping up for the... Which group is it that you see, um, in front of you right now? Because I know that, I know that we've thought of some names beforehand, so I will let it be up to you. Of this group of, uh, group of, uh particular hmm. genre of bards <laughs> from your region. <laughs> Let's just call them Truth Coffee. Yeah. Right. I like so, that. <laughs> uh, so they are, I'm going to say they're um, uh, a mix of um, half-orcs and goblins and a kobold. Uh, oh. And they are just like, the kobold is like, uh, everyone, we are going to be at, uh, uh, over at, at the guild tavern. You know the place. Come on! We want to see you all there! We're going to be performing later at the Fish and Flask! And I hope to see all of you! And they kind of recognize your faces from gigs. Ah, hey, you guys! You know! We know how to party! I like these two! Uh, we are going to be doing a little bit of a entertainment scouting talent show type ordeal! So we hope to see you there! That you cheer us on! All right, so well, thank you. and of course be generous with anything that you can provide to help us be the best musicians we can be. Ah, and I can move out of the sewer. <laughs> well, why do I have a feeling Marrying. that this town does not know what they're going to be in for later tonight? <laughs> Just kind of like goes like yeah, this. Yeah, definitely too. not. Definitely <laughs> not. But we're totally going. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the 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 half orc is just kind of handing out flyers like hope to see you there, hope to see you there, hope to see you there. Thank you, hope to see you there, hope to see you there. Mary will like, really definitely. Like... <laughs> sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, oh, Mary will definitely go to one of the goblins in the in the band and give him like a fist pump like this and say, Oh right yeah, on absolutely. Man. Like full on influent goblin will be like, yeah. I can't wait to see you there, man. It's gonna be crazy. I got a few things to do, but you know, I'll be there. <laughs> He's <laughs> just been doing like the cool, like roadie, like packing up and nodding. Like, yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. all right, cool. Um, <laughs> uh, so we're now going to head over to the fish, the fish and the flask on another side of the city. There are two patrons sitting at the bar, the famous site of rest and relaxation for the traveling adventurer, known as the fish in the flask. As the eye-patched human uh, bartender named Elden Bog is uh, wiping down the counter, just having let the afternoon rush settle down, he draws his attention to two customers that he accidentally had been avoiding, uh, but because there were just so many people at the time. Uh, He looks at you, Brittany, and if you wouldn't mind introducing your character. Yeah, so um, when Eldon looks my way, he sees a pink tiefling um, with long, light teal and white hair pulled back into a high ponytail. Um, he would see that she has striking silver eyes. Um, she has two horns that 
um, stick straight up from her head, but one of them is very noticeably only about half as long as the other. Um, she uh, is wearing a um, like a, a dress with a black corset, and um, the front of the dress it looks like it's pretty short, like a little bit above her knee. Um, but then when she turns around, um, you see that she has a long bustle, um, like a fluffy bustle that's like shiny and teal and purple and it's business in the front and party in the back (laughs) it's the mullet of dresses uh not subtle at all um (laughs) um, and then over her arm uh over her shoulder on a leather strap is a um a teal um a very ornate uh teal lyre who she carries with her and who is the person that has joined you at the bar? Oh, that's right. It's Michael's character. Mike, if you wouldn't mind introducing your character. And sitting directly to the right of the eclectic party cake topper that is sitting next to him at the bar is the exact opposite in aesthetic. Um, you see a very um, dingy and kind of dirt covered Aarakocra. So he's a bird folk. Um, specifically, he looks like a ver- an anthropomorphic red tail hawk. Um, and unlike the established Aarakocra, he does not have wings coming out of his back. His yes, in wing- our world, the hands are at the end of the wings. <laughs> yes, the wing feathers are collapsed up against the arm until they are in use. But he is, uh, he is wearing um, very dirty robe, like moccasin-like leather pants. Um, He has a vest on that's also studded leather armor. Um, And across the chest, going diagonally and across the waist are two belts that are filled with large caliber bullets and small caliber bullets at the waist. Um, There at the other side of the waist, you see in a waist holster, a what's sticking out looks like a handgun of some kind with a very dark red uh, wooden handle and then slung across the back very much like the lyre of his companion as a very long implement wrapped in leather cloth that could be some kind of club or maybe a long gun you wouldn't know until it's too late um, mm-hmm. and then covering the main part of his body under that rifle is a very large uh, cloak like serape that covers the rest of his body um and it looks very much very much like a fistful of dollars and he's just tensed up against the bar staring at the bartender muscled arms kind of looks like a UFC Walter Waite <laughs> and he's uh, just like oh right Sam what can I get you to whiskey I got plenty of that and more as long as you got the coin <laughs> and uh, how about you young lady Oh, um, well, actually, um, I was thinking, uh, do you possibly have anything that is perhaps pink? Wait, no, no, blue, blue, something blue. Andy. Oh, you want one of those tourist drinks, huh? Uh, <laughs> I think oh. I could mix up uh, something, you know, some sort of cocktail. Um, Great. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll think of something to... Usually just been given slinging ale for left and right, so uh, this is a bit of a challenge. I like that. And he oh, throws good. the towel over uh, yes. himself, and I'm gonna try. I'm gonna make something just nice, right for you. Um, oh, you're the best. Oh, pff, please. Um, uh, and uh, he goes back and he starts like mixing a few things. Um, it's a relatively, you know, lower key scene. You guys kind of came in as everyone was just kind of rushing out afterwards. Uh, and you can see that there is um, some stuff set up in uh, the corner um, of the bar area for possibly for musician setup. Uh, there are um, some patrons kind of slowly coming in and out. Um, there is a lot of loud talk amongst uh, people you can see wearing um, particular like different types of, of badges for this big convention in the area as the whole big scene that's going on is that the Wayfinders Guild is reopening once more to bring in a new chapter of adventurers. 
Uh, and um, once uh, we kind of get that whole vibe in, um, Elden comes around and he's got this like nice little goblet, like glass goblet of sorts that he put um, some fruit wedges in. And it's clearly like it's just you know a, a kind of uh, he gives he gives you uh, uh, I, actually we didn't get uh, your your names yet, um, but. Um, he gives uh, you, Michael, your character. He gives you like just the straight up glass, uh, and also puts the bottle to the side, as, you know, just in case you feel a uh, little uh, generous yourself. Um, and then he brings this bluish pink swirl that like ha it, it, like that's kind of like going in there. And he's like, a little bit of an alchemy background myself, you know. I just like to experiment every now and then. I don't get much chances to use it, but you, hmm. I think you might like this. And it kind of looks like a martini of sorts. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's got, like, this cool, like, swirling movement of pink amongst a sea of blue. Oh, that's that's beautiful! And I, try. I Give it a try. Yes, yes, yes. And I, I Be grab honest. It and be I, honest. And I sip. What do I taste? Uh, I, first, I need you to do a constitution save. <laughs> okay. First roll of the game. That's yes. scary. <laughs> And just so everybody knows, uh, in terms of the house rules for art games, um, what we have here is that if it's a if it's a natural one, that's an automatic fail. If it's a nat twenty, it's an automatic success. Uh, for our battles, you'll see uh, the dice rolled in real time, but everybody gets to use their own little fun stuff. Andy, by the look on your face, I'm curious as to what you rolled. Um, that's a seven. Ooh, this is strong. <laughs> Ooh. It. Okay. Burns immediately, and as mm. polite as you try to be, you cannot help but feel it like close up a little mm. as you're. Yeah. I kind, I kind of lean over and I go, yeah, "That's what you get for ordering Epson." Oh, you got a good oh. nose on you. You got a good nose. <laughs> I tried to, you know, sprinkle in a bit of different flavoring and such, you know, maybe mask it with the fruit. And, uh, you know, that's it's just why I haven't been really much more of a pull down the lever, hand your mugs, sort of guy. <laughs> well, um, it's. I mean, do you like it? It's brilliant. It's, oh. it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Uh, maybe just a, a, a long sip of a drink though uh like one per night um but yes it's great you should actually add it to the menu cocktail menu i think would be a really good idea for you you know you just i think that would be fun oh uh, you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna think about that uh yeah you just enjoy yourselves um uh i'm gonna, gonna, gonna write that idea down um oh, oh i forgot to catch i didn't catch your names oh by the way i'm eldon of course i'm the proprietor here I like to know my new customers on a first name basis, especially if they're inspiration for possible drink names. <laughs> oh, well, um, Andy, hello, Eldon. Very nice to meet you. And Very yes, nice to meet absolutely. You. And you, sir, Owaka. He's actually much more friendly than he's actually acting. I'm sure he is after a few He points. really is. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you enjoy yourselves. That bottle's all yours, sir. Don't you worry. And uh, of course, if you need me, just give a holler. Um, be right with you, mate. He goes over and he goes over to another patron. And uh, the bar is available now to you as you quietly enjoy your drinks as best you can. <laughs> you know, you don't always have to order the most expensive drink on the menu at every tavern I go to. Well, um, to be completely fair, I didn't order the most expensive drink. I just ordered something blue. If that happens to be the most expensive drink, then that's kind of just a coincidence. Like, not causation. It's just coincidence. Andy, every drink you've ordered on this trip has just been screaming money. <laughs> okay, what's wrong with that? <sighs> what did we, t we talked about being subtle. No, it you talked about being subtle. I listened. Yes. Kinda. Well, the, the whole point was to, you know, intake that lesson and apply it in public situations. <laughs> mm -hmm. now, this glass of whiskey is subtle. It's simple. It's one ingredient in a glass. It's boring. This looks like you just chocked a bunch of fireflies into a wall. And it's fun, is what you mean. So 
the problem I'm not seeing. <laughs> well, it just tends to be the most expensive drink in the bar is the strongest drink in the bar. And the strongest drink in the bar usually leads to you playing music. And you playing music means some people Leads end to up excellence. <laughs> leads to people losing their money and then questioning why the bard is running out of the bar with all of their money pouches. And then I have to get mm. involved. Only when things go wrong. They've gone wrong in every single tavern on this trip. Not every single <laughs> one. Not every single one. That's an over-exaggeration. Uh. But, but, I told you, I told you, one, this is one. And if it's, you say, okay, it's the most expensive, but it's also the strongest, so that means I'm getting my money's worth, right? But, so it's a good deal. Mm. I think you worry too much. You know, normally I don't worry. It's just that there's an established pattern of events where I have had to get punched in the face multiple times, try not to let you get punched in the face. Sorry. There's a half orc that just sits next to you. Just... My apologies. No problem better out than in, I always yeah. say. <laughs> So anyway, I was saying, I kind of like fan away <laughs> the stench. <laughs> um, yes, thank you. And at this time, uh, Luna, you find yourself now having wrapped up your uh, activities for the day, taking some R&R &R in this uh, location as well. Uh, there is a nice little empty corner uh, if you want to isolate yourself, or the bar is also available to you. Where'd you like to sit down? You are muted. First time. <laughs> Still muted. <laughs> there we go. He's a Luna mute. Will go the He's bar. <laughs> Taking a vow of silence. Character change. <laughs> <laughs> Quality content. Yeah, Luna, Luna will go to the bar and like just like like kind of cautiously look around, but then like catch themselves. You're like, I don't fucking care, and then like. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, Awaka, Andy, uh, kind of awkwardly coming up to um, the op on your opposite side, Andy, uh, is uh, this very gangly. Uh, aquamarine skin toned um, individual. Tattooed. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, how are how are how are they dressed at this time? Um. So they'll have um. Just like uh. Kind of like a, a low cut satchel. Sa uh, not satchel. I'm sorry. Um. Just like a, a burka kind of, like just but it's. It's sleek. It's black. It's um, and then just like um, like it's like robes, like uh, academic robes. And um, uh, Eldon comes up and is like, ah, and just kind of like doesn't know what to do, but kind of just goes for like a bowing gesture, as if like he thinks that's what your the your monk order does. Um, right. Stop that. Oh, I'm just trying to be formal, mate. That's uh, all it is. That's all right. Uh, 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 so, how's things uh, going at the, uh, the wonderful way of the Ascendant Dragon Order? Just great. Just great. Uh, a bit of relaxation. Yes, this is normal. Yes, I'm... Listen, Luna, you've been coming in for the last six or seven months or so. It, it's... I will serve you. I'm not going to go and tattle on your masters, all right? <laughs> all right. What do you want, mate? Come on. The milk, please. All you right. Hear a, you hear a walk ago. <laughs> Wait, is that, is that wait, funny? Wait, that... wait, wait, wait. Luna. Little L Luna Wave, though. 
Yeah. Andy? <laughs> yes! Oh, Hello, oh. Luna! It's oh, been so I long! It has! I don't know many pink tieflings, so I don't know why it took me so long. <laughs> no one does! It's uh, wonderful! Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're great, yeah. How you're are you? great! Oh, oh, um, wonderful. Great! Great! Drinking milk at a bar, though! Well, what's this is a lot I, it's it's a lot it's a lot <laughs> it's it's a beverage well no, no i mean this your thing what what are you doing oh, i'm relaxing God, you're relaxing kidding me. are you like a, are, are you is there, are you like does, does, does your person have a problem Oh, my, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is this is this is a walker. Um, a walker. This, a walker. Yeah. Um, uh, this is um my childhood friend Luna. Be nice. Uh, nice to meet you. Right. Um. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's he's really he really is much more friendly uh, than he appears to be. Right, a walker. Yeah. Much more friendly. Mm -hmm. Much, Much more, more friendly. Cordial. Yes. Cordial. Um. So, are, are you like a, a holy man now, or something, or like a holy uh, person? Or, I don't know. Uh, all right. Uh, holy. Uh, yeah. Sort of. Uh, it's it's complicated, uh, and I really shouldn't talk about it here. No, we can talk about other things. What other things would you like to talk about? I mean, we haven't seen each other in so incredibly long. So, like, Boy. what have you been doing? What brings you to Mari? What? Elden comes um, up with a big glass of milk. Just like, I was feeling generous today. So, you know, it's all Ch yours. Chocolate. Oh, no, <laughs> it just comes back. It just is like. Oh. oh, the milk is chocolate. Okay, that makes it much better. <laughs> Right? Fun! That, that make, yeah, that's very fun. I'll put some chocolate in it and it goes yeah. away. <laughs> Do you see this this drink that Elden made me? This is also very fun. My gosh, that's beautiful. Isn't it? I love it. The blue wave. The, the blue wave. The blue but wave. there's pink in it. There should also it's, be like something that, that references like the pink. It's a work in progress. The pink <laughs> devil. You just, you yeah. hear a walker go, this just keeps getting fucking better and better. <laughs> Uh, and as you're all exchanging pleasantries, well, two out of three, um, <laughs> uh, Finn and Maring, you've now made your way into the fish and flask. As, uh, as, as uh, some of the band uh, mates you've seen are starting to file in, looks like they're starting to prep. I would like to say that Maring on the way to the fish and flask was like, all right, so I don't want you... To get all weird on me, but I had a dream about you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, a good dream or like a a bad dream? I mean, what kind of dream? I mean, what would you classify fighting Tiamat? I mean, for someone of like my profession, that tends to be a. Uh, like a long bad. shot, but kind bad. of what you're going for. Like, so, I mean, yes. we, it, it's what we strive for. But I mean, right. right now, I think that that's probably a terrible dream for me right now. Right. No, no, no. <laughs> but we were like, like, we were so cool, and like, you know, and and she will she describes everything that happens, and she's like, and I was on like snu I was on uh snuffles, and it was like crazy. I was like. Poof! And then I got like GMO right in the eye, and she's like going in on how crazy. And then there are like three other people with us, and they kind of look like this. And she started describing all these people. Um, and so on the way to the fish and flash, you're getting like this full fledged like detailing of what happened in our session zero, basically. <laughs> <laughs> But like super animated. She's like, and I was like, and you were like, and you, oh my god, you were so awesome, and I was so awesome, and was like just like that. <laughs> uh, it, it's very strange in detail how Finn she is describing the exact same kind of dream that you had, down to the letter in detail, and 
Uh, I want you to give, um... Are, are, are you going to try and hide it, or are you going to show, like, shared interest in this at first? Uh, I'll... I think I'll end up trying to hide it, at least initially. Uh, give me a deception kind of check. I certainly will. Well, she... If it helps, she's not looking. She's just, like, <laughs> describing this thing, like, oh... But for my oh, own this. curiosity. <laughs> uh, deception... 13. Yeah, I, I would say, you know, for the most part, you're like, oh, like doing that, oh, 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 you don't <laughs> like kind of thing. Like, yeah, oh, wow, wow, wow. Uh, and, your shirt was, <laughs> and your shirt was the Tiamat, right? Not just, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, not just oh, some that's... random Hydra that happened to have, like, weird funky colored heads. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, Finn, I know that I'm maybe 4'11 and that I'm a bunny. <laughs> But you know I know my dragon lore. Come on, man. You know I do. <laughs> don't don't get don't get don't don't get on me on that. No, no. I know, I know. And also the fact that we definitely died at the end, like one hundred percent completely <laughs> murked, bro. Falling through this, falling through the ground, center of the earth, incinerated. Oh, well, as long as we had a good time going out. I mean, I guess that's uh, <laughs> I guess that's the most important thing. <laughs> It's uh, really crazy because Squibbles was <laughs> huge, man, and you see like her little salamander like sit on her little shoulder. Um, my salamander, he's all black and looks like he got sprayed with spray paint with white on his face. They had like speckles on his face. He has um, orange eyes and he's just like... <laughs> just flutters around for a little... What's up, man? Hey there. <laughs> uh... <laughs> And as they're coming in, like, exchanging this high-energy conversation, um, I would like Awaka, Andy, and Luna to roll perception for me. Are we doing, uh, just to double-check, we're doing checks live, or can we do it with our dice? These are with your dice, yeah. Um. Folks, when we go into battle, you get to see the, the uh, digital dice versions in real time for accountability. Which is so <laughs> bad, because hey. my online perception. dice rolls <laughs> uh, perception of 18 plus 4, so... Oh, yeah. Uh, Awaka, you'll definitely be the first uh, for your your ears to pick up for, at the tone of voice of Finn and Maring. You know these voices. And you know why you know these voices. Um, and it certainly kind of halts everything in your momentum at the moment when you hear their excited tones talking very descriptively about something that you have had weighing on your mind for quite some time since your trip into the city. She's being quite loud when she walks in too. She is, she's just going to walk in and be like, and yeah, fully and do you incinerated. Sit at the bar or do you decide to take a table? Um, oh, I'm heading right up to the bar. Yeah, we definitely <laughs> head up to the bar. Hearing the voices, I kind of give a cockeyed side look, not really moving, but like stiffening up to listen in on the conversation. And then I immediately clock a very familiar looking black tunic vestige and symbol of a certain dragon god. And I stiffen up a little bit more. And then I lean into Andy and I go, don't make a scene. How Andy? Andy rolled a three, so Andy is still talking to Luna. Like, yes, and I actually. So when I went to, um, so I was I was at um, Kovan Academy, and Andy. then Professor Carilla. It's like amazing. Andy. She was really what Andy. Awoka? What Awoka? Don't <laughs> trying to make, tell a story about Professor Carilla. Don't make a scene, howling, and I kind of tip my head over to where Finn is. And Luna, Luna rolled uh, 13, so like yeah, you kind of the, really like the, distracted, and and so now that he says something, they're looking. Yeah, it, it it kind of doesn't register until like Awaka's attention gets brought to Finn and Maring. I mean, how how large is this bar area? I uh, you know you it's conveniently uh, uh, eight seats across on one side, or uh, uh, as <laughs> in like, can I roll a perception six, to see if I'm noticing? Seats, to see if I'm noticing the Legal. furrowed Andy, brow Andy, and, Andy, and head Andy. nods towards me. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
as Maring is like fully incinerated, centered <laughs> through the earth, got just eighteen. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. it's hard to um, mistake someone as unique looking as them that you've only seen in a dream show up in real life, sitting right next to the person you've also only other seen in a dream, sitting right next to another person you've only seen in the same dream. <laughs> you uh, what? you you got a problem what? there, bird boy? Whoa, whoa. Oh, great start. Whoa. <laughs> um, you, whoa. See, you see Awaka reach in How to, into his serape and immediately flip out and, <laughs> and put a six inch bowie knife into the bar and go, I don't know. Are the followers of Dragon Jesus having a party in town today? Who? <laughs> Marrying is going to hop on top of the bar and be uh, like, and, at oh. that point Eldon comes in and is like, oi, 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 folks. What? Sorry, it's not, sorry, it's not that, sorry. It's not that kind of night. It's not that kind of I'm, night, all right? I'm sorry. It's later. It's later shit. in the week. Okay, 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 okay. We got, we got rules around here. And he points to a big sign that says, <laughs> uh, drink as much as you want. Fight with your words. <laughs> no melee magic. <laughs> <laughs> no melee magic. I love it. I got three rules, all right? I stick to it, and everybody has a good time, all right? So keep it to yourselves. I got four what? rules, go, Coco. I kind and of he, slides, he slides you the chocolate milk. He's like, I just drank it, mate. All right, come on. <laughs> I, like do a, I do a slow turn towards the monk, and I pick the knife <laughs> up out of the bar, and I go... Sorry. It's going to cost you extra if you do it again. Oh, the Maring's going to elbow Finn. A, um... They look familiar, right? Is it something we've done together? Or is it... Oh. 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 And, like, realization just, like, floods her face. Are you all right? Just... They do look familiar. Andy, when you and Luna turn to uh, them, it suddenly clicks that you've s absolutely seen these faces before. What is the vibe at the moment amongst the five of you in this second? Maring thinks she's tripping. <laughs> <laughs> like, she's yeah. just like, you see them, right? You, you see them. You see them. I'm not, I didn't take, I, I swear I didn't swallow those mushrooms on the ship over here. I swear yes. I didn't do it. I didn't, maybe got in the water. Like, that she's like mumbling to herself. You see I, I'm completely full of distrust overall. I mean, I've got the <laughs> um, sideways uh, glance bird boy over here and uh, I, two people I've only ever seen in a dream, so. Um, a walk of any kind of emotional turmoil is happening inside as he's contemplating the fact that all five of the people in here kind of know each other through a very odd happenstance, but while he's doing that, he is staring a hole right through Finn, just making direct eye contact. And and Luna, Luna, like, to try to cut the tension, like, they know what's going on, they can kind of feel it, but, like, stares daggers at Elden. And it's like, what did you put in my drink? <laughs> Oh, I added a bit of uh, I put I threw some marshmallows in there, so you know, sweeten it up Ma a little bit. Marshmallows, I love you, Eldon. Oh, <laughs> I give a very, <laughs> I give a very heavy sigh, like, uh. <laughs> and as if it couldn't get weirder in that moment, the f one person you realize that has kind of been missing from this vision walks in. Um, how uh. <sighs> Because it's it, because it's not meant for seven foot tall people. Um, can you give me just like a dexterity check, just for fun, <laughs> just to see if you're able okay. to? Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, she's gonna do great. Oh, <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah. And you'll be able to see everybody's stats down there, folks, as they slide on by. With a negative <laughs> one. <laughs> A four. What 
love is that. distracting you so much <laughs> that you smack your head against the doorway. <laughs> oh! I'll let you. I'll let you describe how you awkwardly stumble into this uh, world. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's just the crowds. She would be trying to move out of the way, and what you guys are seeing is this over seven, seven foot tall gray fur bog with. Um, or fur blog, I should say it correctly. Um, fur? Fear? Fear blog. Fur, fur blog. But it's fur F-I. Oh, you said oh. fur bog. Anyway, a, a apologies. Fur bog. <laughs> bog. A, yeah. fur, a, a fur <laughs> blog. A fur blog. Very bogging. different fur things <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> yes. uh, I so believe you can buy... Accepted. I think you could buy a fur bog at an Ikea for like twenty nine ninety nine or something like that. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Why does um, every stream we do end up being an Ikea, Ikea commercial? <laughs> that Ikea money. <laughs> he wants that Ikea. sponsor! He Plus. wants that sponsor! Don't wreck it for him! Oh, <laughs> He's been working! Like you like to play the Dungeons and Dragons? Well, you also like to swerve! We're gonna have, we're gonna have uh, a yep. whole, whole de menu of Swedish meatballs in the future, games. Okay. Yep. Anyway. That works for us. <laughs> anyway. Um, and... Anyway, so so she's primarily gray, but you will, uh, and she is in a relatively neutral colored one um, jumpsuit that it plunges pretty far at the front and is more of a halter style. So there is no back. It ties at the waist, and the legs are baggy but elasticized ankles. And you will be able to see that her hands, as well as her feet, because she is barefoot, and uh, the left side of her face has um, vitiligo markings on it. And if her hair moves out of the way, you will see a big mark of it on her back as well. Um, and her, oh, as well as her tail, has the same markings too. And her hair is currently sort of a purpley color to it and her tail is just rainbow splotches everywhere all colors <laughs> um but yeah she's probably distracted trying to get in the door or let other people in the door and then when she finally gets some time she doesn't can't duck in time so oh, ah, oh. Now uh, watch yourself, love. It's a bit of a low ceiling for for people you're told. Oh, it's a tall one. Oui. It's a tall mm. one. Put that. Oh, so oh, we, got, like we got an ducks. extra seat here if you want, or you could take a bit. You know, the, there's the corners are a little bit higher than as he's um, Elden's trying I, to accommodate you. <laughs> Eska, uh, are you Elden? Uh, I I was told to uh, to come here. He, and... he he starts speaking to you and Sylvan. Uh, yes, I'm Elden. Uh, you're, you're from the north, I assume. Okay. We. Oui. Uh, who sent you? Oh, um. Oh no. J'oublie son nom. Um. I, I was. The, the gentleman at the front, the, the other cleric, he was here. He was. Uh, he right, told right, me right. to come here, and I'm supposed to. I don't fit Give in the cot. Give your voucher. Give your voucher. Don't I, worry. I'll take yeah. it. I'll set, set you up. <laughs> She's probably like <laughs> fiddling with it in her hands. So, yeah. He uh he, he gets he sets you up with um uh the seat the last seat at the bar conveniently a six seat um mm -hmm. uh, and uh has like a, a pre made kind of like wooden tray of mm -hmm. a, almost like a pittance meal but it's 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 more than you're used to uh mm -hmm. in terms of this is like practically gourmet to you to everybody else it's just you know <laughs> some, some boiled potatoes and a little <laughs> bit of meat and <laughs> um you know, and uh some like. Like a tiny little thing of ale. Uh, he's like, there mm -hmm. you go, uh, and uh, that's that's he's speaking to you still in Sylvan. Mm -hmm. That's why my accent dropped. Love that mm -hmm. trope. Um, <laughs> uh, so this is yours, and of course you have uh, a room for you available too. And thank you for helping out with the festival today. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you know, my I don't really tell people a lot of this, but my sister's one of the envoys at the guild. Uh, so you know, if you get in good with them. You know, they may they may be able to employ you. I'm just saying, if you know, I, I always like if you could keep an eye out for some people, mm -hmm. you know, they tend to maybe overindulge a little bit, mm -hmm. maybe a wave of the hand and I will look the other way. You know? We will see what happens. 
I like you already. Uh, enjoy. And he looks at. Merci. As for the rest of you, um, uh, that's going to be uh, you. Sir, any points that you are Walker? That's going to be about. I'm going to say ten silver pieces for the, yours, uh, for at least with the bottle and for uh, a n- lovely new concoction. Um, oh, uh, you, you, my friends. Uh, what can I get you? Any points that you and Finn, uh, Maring and Finn. I actually slide um, ten, 10 silver across the bar and just grab the bottle from in front of Iwaka. Spin the cap and just take a swig out of it. All right, I'm going to settle up with other people. And he starts walking what, to what, uh, the far uh, corner. Uh, <laughs> don't want no trouble in the place, that's no, all I'm wait, saying. I just, just want to ale, please. Uh, Things uh, are happening to me. I got mm-hmm. some chocolate milk. I reach across the bar if there is an area where I could just grab a glass off the... It's pretty. You're a Grab a glass, way. flip it in front of uh, <laughs> Maring, and, and tip the bottle over to give her a, a, a little fill. Thank, thank, uh, thank you. Thank you. Arlen, as you're watching this happen, you're starting to slowly register the faces down the line next to you mm-hmm. of familiarity. Mary All of you are you. looking right at Arlen. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> um. Uh, oh. Oh. Am I going to be the first to say it, that there's a major feeling of fucking deja vu right now? Um, you don't happen to shoot guns, do you? Feathers? I look... <laughs> I lift open this. I lift up the serape to show the piece that is attached to my hip. You think this is a fucking feather duster? Oh my god! It does shoot guns, but oh I have god. to warn you. I have to warn you. It's, don't call it's... him. Don't call him a gunslinger. I made that mistake. Don't do it. Okay, just warning. Oh, Andy. This is real. And here I oh my god! god. No, just letting them know in case. Like, I mean, you seem to be rather. Uh, on edge for some odd reason, and as I'm saying this, like I am, like definitely behind Owaka in between, like putting him between Finn and myself. But you seem to be um, a little bit um, on edge, so I just wanted to let them know in in case. I don't have to tell them everything. I'm not going to tell them everything, just that one thing. Anything else? Any? Because you look familiar. That's Ooh, what yeah. deja vu means, asshole. Stop! Don't call so, Luna an asshole. And also, sorry, Lu- I'm, so, I'm sorry, well, Luna. I'm sorry, Luna. It's all right. I've been called worse. Yes, but not by my friends. Well, your friends. Anyway. I'm sorry, Desolé. Um... Do you all know each other? I'm no British. <laughs> <laughs> Some tinges. Uh, um. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm dead! I'm dead now! Sorry, I cast wow. Dissident Whispers accidentally! <laughs> all just. <laughs> what Jesus, just happened? I got chased out! <laughs> not sure who that was. I have no idea who that was. That's okay. I, for one, can't That's... wait for the edit so that uh, Mike can at some point tell us who that <laughs> was. <laughs> Yo, that's not that's my end. exactly Nothing's what happened. It was the big bad. The big bad's electro. That was all. That was just all of our brains just short yeah. circuiting. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was the final recognition. Tiamat's like, ah, yes, <laughs> all right. <laughs> ma, ma, ma. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, all our ears, all all our animal ears are like, oh god, why? <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, all right, um, so this. Ju- sorry, you, do you, you go. Do, you go. Do you all know yet? <laughs> this is gonna be your life. Um, <laughs> do you all know each other already? I I don't. Um. I don't know. Well, I, I, I know. know I, I I know them and him. Um. Mm-hmm. Uh. But uh. I. I feel like we I just but I'm I Desolé, I mean I I had I had a, a dream. dream and a dream. dream. Yeah. You had a dream? I had a dream. Oui. I had a dream too. Je, mm-hmm. wait, oh, bonjour. Uh <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um So we, we all had a rêve aussi. 
We all had a dream. Mm-hmm. Um, th- with the uh, uh, dragon. Uh, yeah, my dragon. Uh, the dragon. T- t- yeah, the we. Dragon. I, yes. I didn't, <laughs> Je ne voulais pas le croire. I didn't want to believe it. Um, we, I'm not sure if any of us did. Uh, well, we're not dead, so not, like, should we, we believe it or like because we're not actually dead, so. <laughs> Right, How? it Who's didn't actually, actually happen. Why are you all here? What, uh, what? I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. Wayfinder's what's still. Here? She no. just starts to, like, take a drink and just an air of, like, disbelief is still on her face. But she knows better than to question these things, yet she still questions it. Mm. <laughs> And as you start to contemplate collectively in silence for a bit, this strange meeting of coincidence Mm -hmm. will pick up there for our next chapter. In the center of a mist-filled forest, a lone soldier sits before his sword. Tightly closed eyes, clenched fists, sweat dripping from his brow. He breathes deeply as he concentrates. From the darkness, he hears his patron. My faithful one, you have begun to walk the path to your salvation and prepared the way for my return. For this, you shall be rewarded. Together, we shall reconcile the folly of dragons, and the dyad shall be no more. And now, my son, rise. <laughs>